Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now we are speaking with Annalise Bergen from Ski Utah. She's right next to me here at our studios in Park City. Not really. We are connecting with her through the screen. Annalise, it's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Thank you for having me. The last time we spoke was right when the resorts all had to close about a month to six weeks to even more earlier than average. What's your takeaway as you look back at that time here in Utah with our resorts? Yeah, it was a pretty like shocking, abrupt time. Obviously, none of us expected our season to end so early. It was a it was a hard time to see see the season wrap up so quickly. And um, I think it's just kind of been a little bit of a blur for everybody since then. Um, I'm really just so proud to see our ski community come together and see our resorts do everything they can to support their communities and their employees and just work through this so that we can get back to the normal and get back to skiing. And that support is actually what Ski Utah is here for. You help with communications and marketing with Ski Utah. So I'm curious, what kind of things have you been doing to really support the resorts while not encouraging people to come here right now? Yeah, we're really similar to the resorts. We're really focused on supporting our community um, and even our own employees. And so it was really important for us to reach out and keep our community of skiers and snowboarders here um, connected. Even though we can't do what we love the most, which is getting out into our beautiful mountains and um, skiing at all 15 of our resorts, we can still be connected for our love of skiing. And so we've been doing whatever we can with social media or through our emails or on on our website to really keep people connected and inspired and even at least just daydreaming about skiing because we'll be back to it before you know it. Um, so we've been just doing whatever we can to keep connected with everybody. And I have noticed that Ski Utah has some really great activities online. You're really doing a good job of connecting people that love to ski here in Utah. So tell me about some of those things that you are offering online. Yeah, if you go to SkiUtah.com, um, you can spend a lot of time there. We know a lot of people are maybe feeling a little bit isolated, maybe a little bit disconnected from their favorite thing, which is skiing. Um, and so we have created so much great content all over SkiUtah.com, um, as well as on our email newsletters, if you want to sign up for those and on social media. Um, some of that is an activity book that we just published. It's 38 pages, and it includes all 15 of our resorts, mazes, coloring books, word searches, crosswords. Um, you know, it can be for the kids, but also it's definitely fun for adults too. Um, I know firsthand. And then we have a ton of blogs up there too that are just full of great content to keep you entertained, to keep your kids entertained from um, our review of the best books about skiing, um, our list of favorite ski movies to binge on, um, spring hikes that you're able to do if you're able to stay out and socially distance once our weather gets warm, um, some spring hikes that we recommend in the Wasatch, um, and then also just fun contests like our chalk art contest. Um, we have Zoom backgrounds for those of us who are having to work from home. Um, if you need a special background that maybe keeps you a little inspired, you can find that on SkiUtah.com. So um, there's pretty much an endless amount of either skiing content or, um, or activities to do for the kids on SkiUtah.com. And we just really wanted to do our part to keep people connected and maybe give something fun for the kids to do at home too that reminds you skiing. These online resources have taken a considerable amount of effort to get out there to put together. Really what was your motivation behind this? You mentioned helping people during this tough time, but what made you decide to put this online and pull it all together? Well, at Ski Utah, we are all skiers and snowboarders too, and we miss it just as much as everybody else. And so we we know how we're feeling at home without our spring skiing, and we wanted to reconnect with everybody. And all of this content that you see, like you said, it's been a huge undertaking. It certainly isn't um, easy to pull together. That activity book took a lot of effort, and our entire team um, has done an excellent job just pulling together and putting together whatever content we can to help um, everyone from our bloggers to our internal team. Um, our director of content, Haley, has been working nonstop creating all of this amazing things to do and coming up with amazing ideas to help us stay connected. And, you know, like I said, we're all skiers and snowboarders at Ski Utah too. Um, and 
we know we know how people are feeling and a little bit disconnected and there's definitely a way to get reconnected to your ski community if you check out our social media or our website it's fun to think about a time when we will be skiing again but in the meantime we've got already beautiful spring weather here in utah as you look forward to summer activities at the resort what is ski utah's role with that where do you hope to be and how do you hope to support these resorts during the summer months well, we'll certainly have to see how, how our summer turns out. We are, all of our ski resorts are really just leaning on direction from the, from the Utah state, from the state of Utah, um, for their direction for what they can do for this summer. But I know that we are all remaining really hopeful that our summer can turn to a somewhat of a back to normal. And so many of our ski resorts are open year round now, um, from scenic lift rides to, you know, Snowbird's famous Oktoberfest to uh, mountain biking and hiking and disc golf. Um, so many of our resorts are open in the summer and you will certainly be hearing from Ski Utah the second that you can get up to any of those resorts to do something fun because we are really looking forward to another beautiful spring and summer in Utah and it's just so nice to get up to the mountains um, in that cool fresh air every summer and we're really looking forward to it. And we're mentioning next season not to be a downer but I'm wondering are the resorts of Ski Utah thinking about what to do if it the virus comes back during the winter ski season? I know that's probably a really hard question to answer, but I'm just wondering what your thoughts are about that right now. You know, every single resort here is planning for our rebound, which we, we know we're going to come out of this. We know we're eventually going to return to a normal way of life, even if it is a new normal. And so I do know that our ski resorts are working really hard to make the best plans that they possibly can for that. Obviously, we are all in a little bit of um, a wait and see mode right now um, but rest assured that not only are they creating plans to return to normal but they're also creating contingency plans for that and we're really seeing our resorts do everything that they can to make sure that people feel confident in next ski season um, but that they're also prepared to deal with whatever comes their way and you know this all hit us pretty out of the blue in, in March when everything happened so quickly. And you can see how incredibly well they responded to that and how quickly they were able to mitigate and make changes. And I feel so confident that all of our resorts will be able to handle whatever comes their way this fall. Um, and I'm just hoping that we can return to at least a new normal and be out skiing again in our beautiful mountains. Absolutely. Well, it's been nice to see all the fun activities and things that are being posted online. One more time, where can we go to participate in these activities, really enjoy Ski Utah during this time, and sign up for the newsletter? If you go to SkiUtah.com, you can find all of this content online, um, including that activity book that I mentioned for download. Um, and you can sign up for the newsletter on SkiUtah.com. Um, if you also check out our Facebook or our Instagram, we are very frequently posting about all of this fun stuff you can do. And it's a great way to stay connected to your ski community as well. Well, thank you so much, Annalise, for joining us today. We do really appreciate everything that Ski Utah is doing to connect this community and just provide some fun resources during this hard time. We'll be back with more here on Mountain Connections right after this quick break.